Mars and Venus are our closest neighbors in the solar system. If Mars is in a particularly favorable position, it is only 55.6 million kilometers away from us on its elliptical orbit. Then standing in the night sky, we see it as a brilliant red object. According to astronomers, strange processes on Mars have been seen since the 17th century. It was quickly thought that life existed on Mars due to the shift in hue and Earth-like surface features. In this video, we'll find out what scientists currently know about indications of life on Mars. And more importantly, do we have any Martian friends? Mars is a rocky planet just like the Earth, Venus, and Mercury. Only the outer planets, which follow Mars, are gas giants with an equatorial diameter of 6,800 kilometers. In terms of composition, Mars is roughly half the size of Earth, which has a diameter of 12,800 kilometers. Although Mars resembles Earth, the gases on the planet are indeed distributed differently. The atmosphere of Mars is extremely thin, with only trace amounts of oxygen present. The sparse atmosphere allows a huge amount of cosmic radiation to reach Mars unfiltered. Nonetheless, Mars has a number of remarkable connections with Earth. A day on Mars lasts 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35.244 seconds. It's almost like an Earth day. On Mars, the climate and the thickness of the poles alter with the seasons. Seasons on Mars, on the other hand, last twice as long. This is due to the fact that the Martian year is 687 days long, nearly twice as long as the Earth year. As a result, it takes twice as long for Mars to complete one orbit around the Sun. Space probes that have visited Mars. Mars is only second to the Moon in terms of exploration. Around 50 space probes have previously been launched to Mars as part of worldwide space missions. NASA's Viking 1 and 2 missions were the first successful probes. This two-probe mission was launched in 1976. The Viking 1 was a successful operation that lasted until 1982. Until 1980, Viking 2 delivered data from Mars to Earth. The Mars Pathfinder was the first robot to land on the surface of Mars in the 1990s. Most recently, the Mars Rover Opportunity was on a research mission to our neighbor from 2004 to 2019 and the Mars Rover Curiosity was on a special mission from 2004 to 2010. The Earliest Signs of Life on Mars The ancient astrologers discovered the Martian spots because Mars is very easy to observe when it is close to the Earth. We now know that these are seasonal variations in the Mars Poles environment. On Mars, geysers of carbon dioxide and black coarse grain dust occur as the sun heats the ice layers of the polar caps with the arrival of spring. These clouds fly up into the sky before settling back down on the surface of Mars. As a result, spots and fan-like structures are evolved. Astronomers were able to see the phenomena much more clearly once telescopes were greatly improved in the 19th century. At that time, color formations were assumed to be signals of shifting plant zones. People began to believe that life on Mars was similar to life on Earth. William Howell, an astronomer, published speculations in 1854 claiming that there were oceans, land, and probable life forms on Mars. The Martian troughs, or canali in Italian, were discovered in 1877 by Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli. Schiaparelli thought that they were water form structures, but because due to a translation error, the gullies were mistranslated as Martian channels, and thus the concept of humans on Mars grew in popularity. Some individuals were fascinated by the prospect of living on Mars, while others were terrified by so-called Martians. When British novelist H.G. Wells wrote the blockbuster bestseller The War of the Worlds in 1897, the panic became even stronger. The plot revolved around a Martian invasion of Earth. Since then, the myths and legends surrounding life on Mars and the Martians have become ingrained in our collective consciousness. Reconnaissance Through Space Probes after almost 80 years, humanity was able to send the first unidentified space probes to Mars. Of course, people on Earth were interested to see whether any of the theories about the living Mars would come true. Scientists had previously attempted to make radio contact with probable relatives on Mars. However, no response was ever received. Finally, the Viking 1 mission returned the first photos from orbit around Mars in July 1976. The impression of a dry desert planet became more apparent as the investigation progressed, rather than a globe filled with water and life. The probe did, however, send back images to Earth, which gave some points to ponder. The face of Mars was the first highlight, a rock formation in the Cydonia area of Mars resembled a human face. Pyramids and rectangular constructions that scientists equated to the look of an Inca city were among the strange objects that the orbiter was able to capture. 
The discovery of artificially constructed structures and monuments on Mars prompted NASA to deploy the Mars Global Surveyor to the planet in 1996 for a closer look. The great letdown for all ufologists and alien friends occurred approximately two years later. The new high-resolution photos depicted the face of Mars from several angles. The fact that the face is actually a shapeless rock structure was immediately clear. In the early photos, the optical illusion of a face was formed just by the angle of view and the incident of light. Similar processes and consequences of natural erosion might possibly explain the other observations. Nonetheless, the Mars Global Surveyor was the first space mission to explore the possibility of alien life. The search for the Martian continues. Despite the fact that sites like the face of Mars have repeatedly been proven to be optical illusions, ufologists never stop looking for proof of aliens on Mars. Images from the newest space probes can also be found on the internet. Sometimes paraforcers claim to have recognized the bones of a giant on Mars, and from time to time new Martians and Martian faces appear. Is there water on Mars? It appeared that the atmosphere on Mars is too thin to allow surface water to develop. The air pressure is too low, yet water in the form of subterranean lakes or seas was assumed to exist in deeper strata of rock. In the Hale Crater of Mars, a student discovered evidence of seasonally occurring liquid salt water trickles in 2010. It's unclear where this comes from or why it only displays at particular periods. But let's get back to results from renowned science. The question of whether or not there is water on Mars occupied researchers, as did the question of clarifying the apparent structures. When Mars' surface is heated, it's possible that liquid from its interior is pushed upwards. So, you could also say that Mars is sweating. Thanks to the European Mars Express mission, the existence of liquid water on Mars was eventually verified in 2018. A 20-kilometer wide lake was identified near the south pole of Mars using geo-radar. A 0.5-kilometer thick sheet of ice covers the liquid, which is most likely saline water. Astronomers created a whole new image of Mars's history using data supplied by Mars Express. The red planet is thought to have had a warm and humid environment with many lakes and rivers at least 3.6 billion years ago. This might explain why the Martian troughs and other surface features are being eroded. Only later did the atmosphere vanish and Mars dried out completely. Indications of organic life Already Viking 1 delivered pictures in the 1970s that pointed to residues of organic structures. However, laboratory tests have shown that similar structures may also be created solely by chemical method. Of course, it's been obvious for a long time that neither humans or other more complicated life forms can live on Mars. Researchers are presently searching for microorganisms such as unicellular creatures, primitive algae, and bacteria, as these life forms originally functioned as the foundation for life as we know it on Earth. A meteor from Mars gave people some fresh hope. In 1984, the rock known as ALH 84001 was discovered in Antarctica. It wasn't until 1996 that researchers in the United States believed they had discovered signs of ancient germs on the boulder. Later on, it could be demonstrated that comparable structures may be generated chemically as well. The Mars rover Curiosity verified the existence of so-called theophenes on Mars throughout its six-year mission. These are complex organic hydrocarbons that, at least on Earth, are virtually always of organic origin. On Earth, the ring-shaped molecules may be found in coal tar and petroleum, both of which are obviously organic degradation products. For years, a team from Berlin's Technical University investigated various mechanisms for the creation of theophenes. To date, the researchers can only make educated guesses. Organic creation is admittedly more likely, as it is far more common and simple. As a result, the evidence might have been left over from when Mars was more hospitable to life. However, a single chemical origin path is also possible. When sulfate-containing compounds are heated to over 120 degrees, theophenes develop. Another scenario is that a meteorite strike contaminated the Martian surface with thiophines. So, at the end of the day, all we can say is that we don't know anything specific. However, there is growing evidence that Mars was once a crowded and populated world. It's possible that nothing except rocks, sand, and deserts remains on the Earth many million years later. If we look at the long-term prediction for our planet, experts create a very similar picture. Apart from stones and desert, not much of our past civilization will be left. Will we have migrated to another planet by then? What are the chances if the sun heats the Earth to the point that it becomes uninhabitable? Will Mars or another planet become a viable option? What are your thoughts on this? Can you imagine humans living on Mars or being able to go into space at some point in the future? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.